Welcome to Mocha Create at Home. I'm Alice and I'm an educator at Mocha. If it's your first time joining us for Mocha Create at Home, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. During Mocha Create at Home, we learn about Chinese American history and culture, and we explore artifacts from Mocha's collection, and then we make art projects that connect to our history. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit about Chinese opera. More specifically, the costumes that the Chinese opera singers wear. And then we'll be making our own opera puppets. Have you ever been to the opera? Or have you ever heard opera music? What about Chinese opera? Well, what is Chinese opera? Chinese opera is a traditional Chinese art form involving music, singing, martial arts, acrobats, acting, and elaborate costumes. There are over 360 different types of Chinese operas. Wow, that's almost a whole year. Some of the most popular ones are Beijing Opera, Cantonese Opera, Huangmin Opera, and Yue Opera. Today, we're going to be focusing on Cantonese Opera. Did you know, in our very own Chinatown in New York City, there's actually a Chinese Opera Theater where they performed Cantonese Opera. This was the first Cantonese Opera House in New York City, located at 5 Doyer Street in 1883. However, the theater itself did not open until 1893 by a merchant slash actor, Chu Fong. The theater unfortunately closed in 1910, and later that year was burnt down by a fire. This photo is from our Mocha collection. This is a stage performance of a Cantonese opera. You can see the difference in the costumes that the actors wear to signify their role in the performance. There were about 20 roles in a Cantonese opera, then cut down to 10, 6, and now 4 main roles. And today we're going to be exploring those 4 main roles. The first is the male lead called the Sang. This character is usually depicted as a young scholar. I want you to take notice of the costume, and what do you see? Let's look at the outfit. It's vibrant in color. It's detailed patterns. Now let's look at the props. Usually the Sang has no big props. If they were to use props, they'll use smaller props like a fan or none at all. Now let's look at the headpiece. The Sang's headpiece has some pom-poms or pearls, or sometimes it's more simple and it's a black hat with two bunny ears coming out. The female lead is called the Dan. There are different forms of the Dan. She can either be a young lady, or an older lady, or a military lady. The black and white pictures from our archive at Mocha. Now let's take a look at the outfit. The outfit is detailed with embroidery, decorated with tassels, sequins. It's bright, it's rich in color. She has long bell sleeves. And that's usually to keep her small prop, which is a fan. Or sometimes she has no prop at all. Now, her headpiece, wow, is usually very flashy. It's has a lot of pearls or jewels, it's elaborate, even the jewels go on their hair sometimes. This next one is another male role called the Jing. This role is known as the painted face. They usually play heroes, generals, villains, gods, or demons. The black and white picture is from our archive, and the other two are colored photos of what a Jing's costume looks like. I want you to take notice of their costumes and the props that only these specific characters have. Now the outfit has many layers, it has many colors on the robe. There's not much sewed on embroidery. Now their props, look at it. It's usually big, big, big props like a sword or flags or spears or even their long beard. Sometimes they wear long feathers on their headpiece. For their headpiece, much of the time, it's big and shiny, depending on their role. This last role is called the cow, or the comic relief of the opera, the clown. In the story, anyone can play this role. I want you to take a look at their costume and their makeup. And how would you have known that they were the funny character in the opera? For their outfits, it's usually very rich in color with a lot of gold detailing. For their headpiece, it's usually the simple black hat with the bunny ears. Sometimes the bunny ears have gold trimming or it's jeweled. For props, they usually do not have any props. Now for makeup, this is the role that they use makeup to make up for their simple costume. 
For the cow, half of their face is painted and then they have a silly mustache or maybe a silly expression that's painted onto their face. Now that we have learned some history about the Chinese opera and their elaborate costume, let's make our own! Ta-da! This is the craft for the day. We're going to be creating our own opera puppets! Can you guess which one I made? She has an elaborate headpiece and an elaborate bejeweled outfit. If you guessed Don, then ding ding ding, correct! Now before we start, I'm going to share the materials that you will be needing. So you would need some fabric for your outfit. Mine is going to be red. Two pairs of chopsticks. I already broke one in half for the arms. A pair of socks that you don't need or use anymore. Some glue. Um, a pair of scissors maybe. Any type of embellishment for your outfit. I have googly eyes for the eyes later. Or you can use a marker to draw on the eyes. Just anything that you want to add on to your Chinese opera um, outfit. So let's get started. So first you're going to take your pair of socks. Take one sock first and you're going to like wrap it up into like a ball as best as you can. What I do is I fold it within each other. And then you're going to take your second pair of socks alongside with your chopstick. Now this is the like kind of hard part because you want to make sure the chopstick is inside the sock, right? Because you're going to need your chopstick to uh, hold your puppet upright. So what I do is I take the sock and I try to wrap it around first and I take the chopstick and I put it underneath like this, like a sandwich, like a sandwich. And then I take the opening of my sock and I try to just, you know, go around it so that, um, so that my puppet head is secure. And I twist and I wrap again so it's more secure. Alrighty, there you go. Now. The next step is you want to take your fabric and try to drape it on as evenly as possible, right? You don't want to make one side longer than the other, shorter than the other. Oh, I forgot. You need a rubber band. That's the most important part. So I'm going to take any type of rubber band. I'm going to take a hair tie. And as you drape your fabric, you're going to make a neck by taking your rubber band and going around it. There you go, right? I cut the sides to make it a little shorter so the arms will peek out. Now, the next step is you're going to take your other pair of chopsticks and you're going to break them in half. So like, I already broke mine in half so that I have two sides for the arms. And what I find is a bit easier is if I put the arms closer to where the puppet's head is. So instead of putting it like right here, it would just look kind of strange. I put it up here where the head is and then I just tape it down. So this is what my inside looks like, right? It's closer to the head and I taped it onto the fabric. So it functions like a hand. Now I'm gonna do to the other side. So I've got two hands all taped up. Now let's see what my puppet looks like. Ta-da! Look at my puppet with the hands. Wonderful. Now, it's the fun part. Decorations! So, knowing the four type of performers for a Chinese opera, which one do you think that you want to be? Or you want your puppet to be, excuse me. I think I will make this into the Dan, the female, because I have so many embellishments and I just want to put it all on my outfit. There is no right way or wrong way on how to embellish your outfit and whatever you want to make it. It's up to you. Get creative. A few moments later. This is what my puppet currently looks like. Remember, I'm doing the Don, which is the female lead. The Don does a lot of embellishments and she wears a headpiece. So right now I'm trying to create the headpiece. This is what I have so far. I added more embellishments because, you know, she is the Don, so she needed her headpiece to be well embellished. I got the hands off from our template that goes with um, this craft. So, when you're done, put on a Chinese opera or a Cantonese opera for your family and friends. Or you can make more puppets. Enjoy!